Hello, welcome back to Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger. The date is Friday, August 7, 2020. I think it's August 7, uh, although I might have that wrong. I'm not 100% confident that I know the date, but I'm pretty sure it is August 7, so we'll go with that. It is August 7, if I say it's August 7. Yeah, how's that? Before we begin today, I want to uh, take this chance to vent a little bit, and maybe some of you would uh, have a similar experience. Parental figures, parents, relatives, older relatives, can be such harsh critics sometimes. And honestly, if you want to preserve a little bit of your mental sanity, you might want to really think about the time when criticism is good. But there are times when you come from these older relatives or parents that it's almost not worth listening to them because all it's going to do is cause self-doubt and uncertainty in your head. And quite often that will end up uh, stunting any kind of progress you make in fitness. And it's not only older people. Sometimes our most favorite spouses can do exactly the same thing. I had a student, I had a student uh, a few years ago who came to me to train in self-defense and fitness. And after about six months, almost a year, he was really starting to show progress. He was getting a good amount of muscles and he was getting really fit and uh, he was developing some really good skills. But one time he came to me and he sounded very dejected. He said, you know, I don't know if this is worth it. I don't I don't know if I'm just wasting your time and wasting my time. And I said, why would you be saying that? We are making really good progress. Why, why would you be saying that you're wasting your time? And he said, well, when I asked my wife what she think of my physique now, she said, oh, I don't know, you're okay, I guess. But what's the point of working out that hard if you still don't look like Schwarzenegger? Uh... Just for your information, it took Schwarzenegger like at least six years to get to Mr. Universe status, maybe longer. And that guy worked out every day, like 16 hours a day. So you, if you are just coming to train in martial art or self-defense, twice a week and working out two hours each time. You're not going to reach anywhere near Schwarzenegger uh, within six months or a year or maybe even three years. But unknowingly, his spouse belittled his progress and made him feel that he was wasting time. Even I myself have not been immune to that kind of offhanded criticism from people who I thought that I could depend on. A while ago, I was talking to a parental figure who I, uh, I, I view as close as a mother to me. Uh, and. As soon as she answered the phone, she said, Hi, how are you? And I said, Hey, how are you? I just want to call to see how you're doing. And she said, I'm doing okay. Oh, yeah, by the way, you are fat. You need to lose weight. It's bad to be fat. You, you, you run into a lot of trouble. You're fat. You need to lose weight now. And I was thinking, WTF. It's been many, many years. Since I was last uh, considered anywhere like 
fact, I, I take very good pride on my physical abilities and my physique. In fact, so being called fat by someone whom I view like a mother was a shock. So I said, well, "Why are you saying I'm I'm fat? Like, what are you going off of?" And she said, "I saw your martial art video, and、uh, you you you're too big. You're too big. You're fat. You you it is bad for you. You're fat. You got to lose weight. You're too big. And、uh, and also I see that、uh, on the video, you're you're teaching some moves、uh, like push up and." Uh, uh, and sit up, and and you only do a few, and then you stop. You're out of shape if you can only do a few. Well, that was a really bad indication because, of course, on the video, I'm not going to make a video to show how to do push up and then stay on the video to do a hundred push up. That would be silly. I show the move and do usually five to ten, and then move on. But she went off of that. She she saw that I only did like five or ten sit ups or five or ten push ups, and then I stopped. She she decided that was an indication of me being out of shape. Only last week I got another WTF moment. This time from my mom. Called my mom on the phone, and then my mom. Again, out of nowhere, she said, "Oh, by the way, I think you're getting too fat. You need to lose weight." And again, I asked, "How did you arrive at that conclusion?" And my mom said, "Well, I, I saw your、uh, one of your self-defense video, and、uh, you look all puffed up. You look all poofy in the front." And I asked her, "I think it." Do you mean the video of me teaching ground and pound, the one that I'm wearing a、uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu uniform? She said, "Yeah, yeah, that's the one. You, you look all poofy in the front." I said, "Mom, have you have never worn a Brazilian jiu-jitsu uniform, so you might not know those things poof out, puff out at the strangest places." When you are hunched over or bent over something, that's because there's a lot of extra material. That's what they do. But no, will she believe me? No, 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 no. I I could see the video. You're 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 too poofy. You're you're fat. You 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 need to lose weight. And uh uh and the. Practical level and a logical level, I know that、uh, these two women, whom I have all the respect for in the world, were mistaken. That they were going off some silly、uh, thing that they saw. They thought they were seeing on my videos, and they were drawing conclusions from those. But on a sensitive level. At an insecure level, having these two women telling me I'm fat has not been doing a lot for my、uh, self-confidence. So maybe it's because of the low self-confidence and、uh, feeling a bit ashamed of my body that today we are going to work on how to tone our Inner thighs. Yeah, that must be it. I mean, you know, so when's the last time you hear a guy talking about needing to tone his inner thighs? So if I'm talking about this, obviously I'm having some real identity issues or self uh, uh, doubts or confident lack of confidence, right? Well, I'm just kidding. Actually, it's because one of my uh, uh, students this last week. Asked me what exercises we can do、uh, for her to tone her inner thigh, and you know what? When she asked me, I was kind of like, "Hey, I don't really know. I got to think about this because it's not something I ever think about." 
So, after thinking about it for about a week, I have compiled a list of ten exercises you can do to tone that inner thigh, and we are going to go through them right now. Keep in mind, any of the exercises we did, the leg lift、uh, and and、uh, leg extension, anything requiring you to lay down, lift your leg, whether straight up and down, or to the side, or extending, or in circles. Any of these, any of these, you can do if you hold a pillow or a weighted medicine ball between your knees or your ankles. While performing these, will help you tone your inner thigh while working on other muscles. But beyond those, there are still other things we can do. Let me show you that. You can probably, you probably can't see my face because I'm standing up now, and the、uh, camera is、uh, down there. You're probably getting a look at my leg, though. I hope you can at least see my leg because it is the leg movement that's important here. First exercise. Now, if balance is an issue, put your hand on the wall or counter. First exercise. We are standing. We take one foot off the floor, and then we draw circle inside. So if I use my right leg, I'm drawing circle clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. If I have an ankle weight, I can put the ankle weight on and do this, right? Do it for a few minutes, and then you will feel the burn. In your inner thigh. If I'm using my left leg, then I'm drawing the clock counterclockwise. Number two, this motion is probably recognized by any Chinese female from my generation or older. There's a Chinese exercise called、uh, Ti Jian Zi. It's kind of like badminton, but rather than hitting the badminton bird、uh, with a racket, you use your feet. So what you do is you toss that little feather thing up in the air, and when you come down, you bring your feet, you bring your foot up like this.、Uh, With the inside edge of your foot coming up towards your belly button, like this. It's like a high knee, but you're bringing your foot in to the side at the same time. And a lot of Chinese girls were really, really good at this. Like they can. Chase that little feathery ball or badminton bird around, and then they can always catch it with their feet that way, and never drop, never miss a beat. Probably why Chinese girls quite often end up with beautiful, beautiful legs. So again, it's just like a high knee, but the, at the top of your high knee, you swivel your Leg, so your foot come up the center line. Like that. Number three. I call this the Ninja Turtle squat. Now, if balance is an issue, I suggest you do this standing in the doorway, so you can hold onto both frames. Of the door, of the doorway. We are going to bring our feet together while standing, and we are going to keep the heels of our feet together, and then bring our toe out. So our toes are 
pointed out to the side while our heels are together. So when we are standing, our legs are together. When we bend down, our knees will separate. And we want to go as low as you can. Let your heel come off the floor if you need to. I go down until I touch the floor and then I come up, keeping my knees and my toes pointed outward the whole time. So I go down and stand up. Go down, I touch the foot and I come up, keeping my feet and my knees and go outward the whole time. Number four. Using resistant band. I got my resistant band here anchored with my dumbbell. And what I'm going to do is put the resistant band around my ankle, my right ankle. So what I do is I start off by walking away from the anchor of the resistant band until I have a bit of tension against my ankle and then I stay in a really wide stand as wide as you can go and then we bring our right foot to our left foot hold and then go back to the right and then bring our right foot in again hold and go back out bring our right foot in again hold go back out and of course, after you've done a few, you can change that. Number five. Still with the resistance band. This time we're sitting down. And I'm going to have the resistance band around my knee. So again, I scoot away until I have some tension on the line. I sit reclined my hands back behind me and then from this angle I keep my the bottom of my feet together and my legs open so I drop my legs to the ground and then I bring my knee out and in out using the resistance out and in out and in and then, if you have two resistance bands and two anchors, you can do both legs at the same time. Number six. You can also tone your inner thigh by squeezing a big pillow or in my case, this kick shield, this cushion. But we are going to sit or lay down, sit reclined or lay down. I'm going to take this cushion between my knees, not the flat side, not like this. Okay, need to be wide. Okay, so. Uh, wide between the knee i'm going to just hold it here and try to squeeze it by bring my knees together once i squeeze i hold open squeeze hold and open squeeze hold and open squeeze hold and open squeeze hold and open, squeeze, hold, and open. just like that So what if you say we don't have any of those equipment, we don't have a cushion or a pillow or a resistant band or a medicine ball, how do we do this? Luckily, there are ways even for that. Number seven, the double butterfly. I'm sitting with my feet together, the bottom of my feet together, my knees apart. And then I'm going to lean forward, put my hands together, 
and my elbow spread against the inside of my knee. So my arms, that's one butterfly. My leg, that's two butterflies. So we have double butterfly. So put your elbows against the inside of your knee and use your own arm to create tension when you bring your knees together. You get to work your knee, your inner thigh, and you get to work your deltoid at the same time. It's awesome. Number eight, half butterfly. We did the double butterfly, now we do the half butterfly. So we're going to sit and uh, with our hand behind our back. So we are kind of reclined, leaning back a little bit. I'm going to fold my leg. And then I take the heel of my right foot, put it on the uh, joint on my left knee. Like that. My legs are still folded, except now the right foot is stepping on the left knee. Right? Now I'm going to keep my left foot on the ground and just bring the knee up using my right foot to give attention. If it's too hard, ease up on the right foot. If it's not hard enough, push harder with the right foot. And then, of course, we can switch. Now, left foot on right knee. Number nine. Double circle. We talked about this in the leg lift before. So I'm going to lay down. And then bring our feet off the floor, keep our legs straight, and separate our legs. And both legs going to circle inward. In. In. So right leg is going clockwise, left leg is going counterclockwise. Two circles in toward each other. In toward each other. In toward each other. Like that. Number 10. The dolphin tail leg extension. Or sorry, the dolphin tail leg lift, rather. So, like a regular leg lift, but this time I'm going to turn my legs so my toes point outward, my heels are together. I'm going to go up, up. Up, up, keeping my knees straight and my toes pointed outward. I'm sure there are a lot more ways to tone your inner thigh, but I think this 10 plus any additional leg lift, leg extension, uh, leg lift circles you want to do, holding an object between your knee or ankles will give you a good start. Thank you for checking out today's Fitness Friday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Survival Saturday. For now, have fun and have a good night.